Tonight, we'll reach out to Maria Houston, who was murdered on the property, and keep trying to make contact with Marcella Day, who passed away from the Spanish flu, to see if either connects us to a female voice and apparition seen here. You and Jay were on this first floor. You guys had a bunch of experiences, right? We were, yeah, we were actually right there. That was right upstairs. And it literally sounded like people were coming out of a classroom. Like a residual sound. I mean, I... Was that upstairs? We thought we heard something up here. Marcella? Maria Houston, are you here? Maria? Mrs. Houston? Steve, I got a weird feeling like there's something there. Kind of looks like a children's playhouse. Set up the laser grid mm -hmm. and the, the GS2. Good idea. I heard a whistle, a slam, and a voice all in a row. I heard it too. Hello? Let um, me get the laser set up here. Here we go. Thank you. This is a brand new GS2 laser grid. Not only will it tell us if anything moves in front of it, but it will tell us how big the anomaly is, and it also has temperature. Maria, if you're here, do you remember what happened? Sorry that you were shot by your husband. Are you the female that's been seen in these buildings? This was a school at one point, a religious school, Catholic. Oh, whoa. It's picking something up. It's coming closer. Hmm. Were you here when this was a school? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hmm. The temperature is fluctuating 70 to 52 degrees. 70 to 52? Yep. We just like to understand why you're still here. It's it's gradually getting more solid. It's gradually becoming larger too. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's getting ready to do something. Maybe it is. It's using the energy in the atmosphere. Oh, maybe it is, Dave. Yeah. Maybe it is. What do you make of that? Maria Houston. Was that you? It was like a, a crash. Yeah, but nothing fell. Nothing fell. We got a lot to think about in this place. Mm -hmm. Regardless, that whole temperature change mm -hmm. went from a little spot to a whole area. Mm. Hey, Steve. Go for Steve. We've done a solid investigation. Let's call it and go through our evidence. Copy that. When you take all of our experiences, I think it could be a layered haunting where there are some residual things from when it was a church, like the footsteps we captured in the school. One thing that's interesting is our GS2 laser grid was only interacting with us when we brought up Catholicism, which shows signs of an intelligent haunting as well. So we have to take that into consideration. Well, here we are, man. Yep. Let's go fill them in. Hey, Sean. Thanks for uh, coming back. All right, Jason, over. Steve, great yeah. to see you guys again. This place was so cool. Oh, uh, yeah, it was some great craftsmanship, man. They knew how to do it 110 years ago. 
They did. So we found out some really, really cool stuff about the history of the building. We're trying to find any information about the possible girl in white. There's a, a, a lady named uh, Marcella Day, and uh, in 1918, she actually died of the Spanish flu. Like a parishioner? Yeah, she was a big part of the church. She also attended the school. Okay. Uh, and so she was, was probably attached. laid to rest here. Yeah, she could be your woman in white. Of course, this building sits on what used to be a park. In the 1800s, a woman named Maria Houston was shot and killed by her husband. In this park? Yep. So Steve and I headed into the schoolhouse building. Uh, we did hear a female voice. We heard footsteps happening on the second floor. It was neat to have those experiences because it helps back up a lot of the claims that, that some of your employees have had. Yeah. And honestly, there's a common refrain of steps on that second floor. And there's people that simply won't go up there. We'll play that female voice that happened really quick while we're, we're on the, the main floor okay. of the schoolhouse building. Oh, there's a distant voice in the background. Yeah, female voice. We think she's saying inside. Make sure you aren't moving. It's so slow moving. And then when we were in the church, we caught uh, a voice that uh, sounded like it may have said a certain word. Yeah. Sounds like Jesus. Yeah, but like whispering it. Yep. Yeah, it, sa it says Jesus. Yeah, that's pretty weird, man. At one point, uh, Tang and I, we made our way all the way upstairs to what we think is a children's playhouse of, of sorts. And we had a, a, what we call a GS2 laser grid. It's a laser grid that will show you anything with mass that moves in front of it, uh, the temperature and everything. And while we had that set up, uh, we noticed a significant temperature drop right in front of that device. Yeah, we've definitely had our brewers talk about walking, having temperature changes. It's consistent for sure. And then all of a sudden, while we're investigating, we're doing some call and response, but we heard a, a whistle, like something trying to get our attention. Then we heard a loud crashing or bang sound, and then I heard a voice. And we'd like to play that for you. Oh, yeah. I mean, it almost sounds like someone calling out to us a little bit, like, hey! You know, that attic proved to be uh, yeah, a pretty and, and intense. That, that was the old, that was the stage where they did lots of performances, and it was also far in the cafeteria. So, I mean, that had heavy, heavy traffic. There seems to be a layered haunting. You may have different phenomena happening from different eras of time and intelligent stuff happening. But I don't think anybody has any reasons to be fearful. With this particular haunting, it seems that uh, it's of the living environment, people that were once alive who are now past, so. Who have a connection to this, exactly. to this property. It could be a loving connection. It doesn't have to be something scary. That's gonna be a comfort for some people, yeah. for sure. Thank you for having us out. You need anything, we're only a call yeah. away. All right, yeah. thanks, Jason. Thanks, for your time. Sure. thanks, Steven. Thanks so much.